heat number seven of round one is about to go underway here. Let's take a look at the starting lineup for this field on this beautiful afternoon. Starting on pole is David Reagan in the Shriners Hospitals for Children Ford Fusion. A very strong qualifying run for him with the seventh fastest overall time awards him with the pole for this heat. Starting alongside Whiff is Daniel Suarez in the 19. It was announced earlier in the season that Daniel Suarez will not be back in the 19 team. That will not stop his drive though as he is the only Gibbs car in this heat. Can Daniel Suarez win from the outside? Speaking of outside, starting in third is David Reagan's teammate Michael McDowell. Both of the front row racing cars had excellent qualifying times. Will it show in the heat races? We're about to find that out soon. Starting in fourth is Kevin Harvick in the number four Jimmy John's Ford. Does it look a little different? Because it should, because it's a throwback to his 2001 rookie season. Kevin Harvick has not raced on North Wilkes Road in the Cup Series, but he wants to throw it back to when he got his start in the Cup Series, and so with the help of Jimmy Johns, Kevin Harvick has that honor. Starting in fifth is Cody Ware, driving for his father, Rick Ware Racing, with Keen's Buildings on to sponsor the car. Can Cody Ware pull off an upset here today? Starting in sixth, Jordan Anderson, built his team up from scratch. He is here with Jacob Companies as a sponsor. Can he pull off an upset here today? Starting in 7th is Phil Parsons in the 72. Phil Parsons is here as he pays tribute to Benny Parsons, who's had quite a bit of success here at North Wilkesboro. Phil has also raced here a few times at North Wilkesboro. If the help of TriStar Motorsports, can Phil do anything from the 7th starting spot? And then finally, Tommy Joe Martins as he's driving for BJ McLeod Racing. He is teaming up with Save the Speedway to help save North Wilkes Road Speedway and make sure it does not turn into dust. As the cars have pulled off here into turn number one, David Reagan, could he be another pool setter to win? Bubba Wallace has done it before, Tony Stewart has done it, Clint Boyer has done it, Ward, 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 Ward Burton has also done it as well. Here we go, Pace Hurst is pulling on in here. 15 more laps. Can the closer Kevin Harvick get it done from fourth? Or can someone out of the back pull off a huge upset here today? But here we go. Pace cars pulled on in. Reagan, Suarez, McDowell, Harvick, Ware, Anderson, Parsons, Tommy Joe Martins. Green flag is out here. Heat number seven of round one. And David Reagan gets the nose ahead with Suarez in second, Harvick third, Anderson fourth, and look at Daniel Suarez with a dive bomb move to the inside as Reagan goes way up high on the racetrack. And Harvick, geez, Harvick almost slides into David Reagan as Suarez leads lap number one. Down into turn number two, Suarez already has a good gap size lead, and Michael McDowell is way off pace. I wonder what's up with him as Harvick is in third, and how about Jordan Anderson is in the back of Kevin Harvick? He did not spin him out, but boy, that was close. Harvick, Anderson, boy, look at Jordan Anderson. Anderson is pulling a Casquala as he is all over the back of Harvick. But meanwhile, Suarez continues to lead here. Suarez swings way up high on the racetrack. I don't know if Suarez got into the wall, but I, all I know is that he did not get a good run off of turn number four. All that does is that's going to lure in David Reagan, Kevin Harvick, Anderson, and Tommy Joe Martins, one might add, started in eighth. And he's up to fifth already, and there's still 10 laps to go here. Oh, more than that, 11 laps to go. Oh, here we go. Oh, my goodness. I was not expecting that. Oh boy. Sorry about the mic pitch there. And Michael McDowell also had trouble. McDowell is slow. Harvick with damage. As they come back to the line, it is Suarez, Reagan, Anderson, Tommy, Joe, Martins. Boy, what is going on, guys? Jeez Louise. Harvick with a lot of damage to the left side of his car. That is going to be a major detriment to his case to get into the big show. The good news is round two is a thing, and, that, and Harvick can potentially redeem in that. But guys, this is going to be a huge setback for that team. 
boy, when we see the replays, I'm going to be very curious to see how that unfolded. So Harvick's in pit road now. I wonder if they're going to take his car behind the wall. It'll be interesting to see if that is the case. I am also very curious as to what happened with Michael McDowell as well. Let's see what happened to Kevin Harvick. Let's start with Harvick here. So coming off of turn number four, Jordan Anderson all over the back of Kevin Harvick. Boy, that has been a pretty commonplace to wreck. I don't know. I don't know what to say because Tommy Joe Warrens was immediately behind Anderson as well. You see Harvick spinning here. Um, I did not see. Oh, I wonder if McDowell got loose and he ended up losing his car trying to avoid Harvick. That could be the case. And uh, Harvick, I'm pretty sure Harvick will have some choice words with Anderson after this heat, but we'll have to wait on that. And yeah, Harvick's wreck is really, boy, the thing I'm also worried about was just how he hit the inside wall, because it was almost pretty head on. The good news is there is safer barrier on the inside, so that helps with that case. But I'm curious about McDowell, so let's look at McDowell here. He swings to the high side, and okay, yeah, he just lost his car trying to avoid Harvick. So he gets up going into the outside wall, but McDowell does not go down pit road, and he's still on the racetrack in 7th place. So the cars have taken the one to go, and Kevin Harvick has officially gone behind the wall. So, Kevin Harvick is the first DNF of the day. And he will officially finish in eighth. And as we mentioned before, a huge setback for that team who has pretty much dominated this season so far. So here we go. So here we go. Daniel Suarez. I said here we go a bunch of times, but Daniel Suarez is your leader. Then we got David Reagan in second. Jordan Anderson is in third. Tommy Joe Martins in fourth, followed by... Cody Ware, Phil Parsons, and Michael McDowell is in seventh. So here we go. Pace car is in. And we're only going to have five laps to go here at Wilkesboro. David Reagan looked to the inside, but we know that is not the best thing to do. As now, look at everyone so close to each other. Jordan Anderson is all over the back of David Reagan. How long is Jordan Anderson going to stay behind? To the through turn three and four, Suarez goes a little high, but that is usually normal. Off of turn number four, Anderson's over back of Reagan. Four laps to go. I think if Jordan Anderson wants to take the win, he needs to pass David Reagan right now. Down into turn number three here. Suarez has about a one car length lead on David Reagan, but it looks like it's a four car battle. But meanwhile behind, Phil Parsons is about to pass Cody Ware. And Jordan Anderson, Tommy Joe Martins is to the high side. I wonder if Martins can potentially gain some spots by going the high line. As we go through turn number two here, David Reagan is currently in second. Jordan Anderson is in third. David Reagan swings high. Can Jordan Anderson get the nod here? David Reagan, I think, stays in second for the moment with two laps to go. Oh, we got some more contact! And they do not wreck, but they were pumping and banging off turn number two, and Anderson is to the inside of Reagan. Down into turn number three, and Anderson is able to clear David Reagan for second. Tommy Joe Martins is going to try to get around for third as the white flag is out for Daniel Suarez. Jordan Anderson, he's trying to reel in Suarez, but I think because he was held up by Reagan, I think it's a little too little, too late. Coming through turn number three for the last time. Suarez, Anderson, Martins officially is in third. And coming off of turn number four, Daniel Suarez does end up winning heat number seven. Wow, guys, what a heat. And guys, Jordan Anderson did not win, but watch out for him in round two. And it'll be interesting to see where he places in the mains. So Daniel Suarez wins, Jordan Anderson second, Tommy Joe Martins third, then it's David Reagan, Bill Parsons with the top five, Cody Ware, Michael McDowell with a disappointing seventh, and then Kevin Harvick has a long ways to go as he finishes in eighth. So after the conclusion of heat number seven, Daniel Suarez now has 175 points. David Reagan now has 165 points. Michael McDowell down to 130 points. Jordan Anderson all the way up to 125 points. So a huge gain for him. Kevin Harvick and Cody Ware are now tied at 115 points a pop. 
but Kevin Harvick gets the nose ahead because his time was faster than Cody's. Same deal then at the end with Phil Parsons and Tommy Joe Martins. They are both at 100 points, but Phil Parsons gets the nose ahead because his time was faster than Tommy's. A solid job by everyone in heat number seven. When we come back, the end is in sight. Heat eight will ignite here at the summer showdown. Will we see an upset in this heat? We will find out after this break. 